Hey guys, it's Lions, everyone's favorite handheld connoisseur. So, I think everyone knows this already, but I really like the Nintendo 3DS. Since buying my first 3DS XL, I have recorded thousands of hours playing some of the best games ever created. And recently, I made a video called Why the 3DS is the Perfect Console in 2022. That video has kind of been carrying my career recently. Now, in that video, I was talking about the Nintendo Nintendo 3DS as a whole, and why I think it would be smart to buy one in 2022. But today, I'd like to go into a little bit more detail and talk about the best overall 3DS model you can purchase in 2022. Released in July of 2017 here in North America, the new Nintendo 2DS XL is approaching its five-year anniversary. And as someone who has owned the console since its day of release, I can confidently say it is my favorite 3DS model Ever. Before I get into why you should buy this console, let's do a little bit of a comparison real quick. If we line up the specs of the new 2DS XL and the new 3DS slash new 3DS XL, it's already clear that internally, these consoles are literally the exact same. So, um, yeah, uh, I, I guess the video's over now. Just kidding! <laughs> Uh, but to be honest, you can't really go wrong when picking between these three consoles, since internally they are all the exact same. Although I would have to say the new 3DS is a bit of an outlier in this scenario compared to the XL consoles because it does have a smaller battery. But everything else is literally identical. So this brings up the question that all of you are asking now. Lions, you idiot! Why would you even make this video? You just proved that all these consoles are the exact same same internally. How could the 2DS XL be any better? And they're, they're the same thing. Why should I buy it, lions? Well, fool, let me tell you. Reason number one for why I will always choose the new 2DS XL over any other 3DS model is its portability to comfortability ratio. Now, what exactly is the portability to comfortability ratio? Well, this is an exact formula that I've been developing since birth in order to determine what makes the perfect handheld console from looks to feel to size etc. But, 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 but Lions, the 2DS XL isn't even the smallest 3DS. True. You're right there. The console weighs as much as an adult Syrian hamster. Uh, now, for those of you who don't own adult Syrian hamsters, that's about a half cup and two tablespoons of milk. So, yeah. Also, the 2DS XL does have the exact same screen size as the other XL consoles. It's equipped with a 4.88 inch top screen that has a 400 by 240 pixel resolution and a 5 by 3 aspect ratio, while the bottom screen is a 4.18 inch touch screen that has a 320 by 240 pixel resolution and a 4 by 3 aspect ratio. To me, these screen sizes are perfect. Perfect. And a little over four inches is just enough. Some would say the screen is actually a bit above average and the console has a ton of personality too. So, you know, please give it a shot. Just, just give it, it has personality. But, but, but Lions, the new 2DS XL weighs the same as the other XL consoles and even has the same screen size as the other XL consoles. So what makes it score so highly on your stupid portability to comfortability ratio formula? Well, viewer, the new 2DS XL is actually the thinnest of all consoles in the 3DS family, with it only being 20 millimeters, or 0.79 inches. This may not seem important from the surface, but this relatively thin form factor of the 2DS XL makes it perfect for portability and sliding in pockets, book bags, and whatever else you want to put it in. Add on the relatively lightweight, this console meets all the criteria for the ideal handheld experience when it comes to comfortability and portability. Okay, so the next major criteria I look into when buying a handheld console, especially a 3DS, is 
the price. Now, additionally, I look into subcategories such as the condition, what model it is, and just where I'm buying it from. Comment down below if you're interested in me making a full buying guide for consoles in 2022. That's a series I've been wanting to make for a while now, so if you'd like to just hear how to find good deals, let me know in the comments. Right now, I do believe the best handheld console you can buy with cost in mind is, drumroll please, the PS Vita! You can seriously get one of these things for a really good price at the moment. Like, I just ordered one for $120 on eBay. I'll be making a totally separate video on that later, by the way, so look out for that. But when it comes to the 3DS line of consoles, the cost is disgusting. I've been keeping a steady eye on the 3DS market for a couple months now, since I would really like to purchase some special edition consoles and add to my collection. But the prices right now make that very difficult to do. One thing is though, as I've been snooping the back alleys of eBay, I've noticed something really, really interesting. Lots of new 2DS Excels are going for a relatively decent price. Now, some will have cosmetic issues, but most of these can be fixed easily at a very low expense. Now, obviously, the 3DS market is not something you can make a concrete conclusion about, since every day you can find an absolute steal on a new 3DS Excel, and prices are constantly fluctuating. But from the looks of it, the new 2DS XL seems relatively easy to find at a semi-decent price. I discussed this in my last 3DS video, but I really think this line of consoles as a whole is perfect in 2022, because your return on investment is very high. You can purchase this console and have no need to buy any games because of its modding capabilities. Thousands of games are at your fingertips after purchasing a 3DS in 2022, and also the community of people who still play on and support this console is amazing. So please, pick up your 3DS or 2DS in 2022 and go outside, touch some grass. Let's 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 revive Street Pass, people. Please go outside. Comment down below if you own a new 2DS XL or plan on getting one soon. Also, please comment what video you would like to see me make next. I'm working on a video about the best games to buy on the 3DS, so expect that soon because this poll wanted me to. Uh, I also have a ton of other cool ideas in the works, so uh, yeah, expect that soon. Also, if you aren't subscribed yet, please please make sure to do so. My goal is to hit 5k by the end of the summer, by like September 1st or something. I think that's a pretty cool goal. And uh, finally, follow the Twitch. I'm going to be streaming a lot over there once school is over in two weeks. So yeah, uh, bye everyone.